Hi everybody, Liz and Annie back again. Uh, we're gonna make a quick recording, quick video right now to kind of walk you through different options for how your video appears and the importance of the various video adjustments and filters that Zoom can put on for you about your appearance and or the lighting that you're choosing in the room where you're teaching. Hang on, where did I go? Okay, so uh, first we wanna show you the kind of new, most useful features of one of the latest Zoom software updates under settings. So you can get there a variety of ways depending on if you're Mac or PC, but go to your video settings. And then I uh, typically have this touch up my appearance when checked, but the new feature is now the sliding scale. So if you just had that checked and you, and you did the software update, it would start you in the sliding scale at around like 15, 20% as like the default. So you can turn it off. Uh, you can turn it off if you want. You can turn it on, but have it like all the way down or you can like slowly and horrifyingly crank it up further and further until you just look like a, a super filtered weird creepy airbrushed version of yourself but very pretty so you can oh, wow. uh you know you can mess with that as you see fit and then the other uh i think really awesome feature that they've added is this adjust for low light so mine's on auto and i don't need it because i'm sitting in the place where I'm always doing all of my teaching, which is my very well lit with natural light and some other lamps um, living room. So I don't need it, but uh, if I wanted to turn it to manual, I again will have this sliding scale where I can uh, crank it up or down depending on how much darkness I'm in or if I need to brighten something up. So I could turn that off if I didn't think I would need it. I'm gonna turn mine back to auto. And uh, Annie is not sitting in her very well lit living room she might be in her living room but it's not as brightly lit with natural light as mine is in the morning so mm -hmm. annie is going to show us what it looks like when she does the same features yeah that's right so yeah i am in my living room and i do have some big windows but they don't get morning light so it kind of it feels well lit to me but shows up differently on the screen so you might want to play with this you know regardless of where you are um, but for me this will be really helpful so i'm actually going to i have it completely off the adjust for auto uh for low light i have it completely off now and then if i check it um, it goes to auto and it immediately brightened everything up. So now it's a little bit easier to see me. Um, but if you want and you're not happy with, you know, the auto setting, you can change it to manual and a slider appears and you can, you know, <laughs> blow it all the way out and look a little, you know, alien. Um, or you can go back down to something a little more manageable. So um, you have some different options there with the zoom controls. Okay, and uh, do you have any other like uh, kind of lighting apparatus, anything like that that you wanna? I do, so I'm gonna turn off the low light adjustment and use a separate lighting device. So I actually um, have acquired a ring light, which is a little round light that you put um, in front of yourself behind your recording device to kind of light up your face. Um, so I'm actually gonna turn that on now and show you a couple different options of what it can do. And then I'll show you what it looks like so you can see um, after that. So I'm gonna turn my light on now and you can see immediately it kind of has that same effect as the zoom um, adjustment for low light uh, feature. Uh, this light is pretty cool. It has an adjustable scale um, on it. So I can, you know, brighten, um, I can decrease the light rather or brighten the light back up to kind of adjust for kind of just my face. You can see that changing. Um, and it has different lighting color options. So I can have a more yellow light, um, more, you know, indoor sort of light um, or very, very yellow indoor light um or a white light and then a more balanced one um so that um is a separate device that i have i'm going to turn it off now and bring it around to show you um it looks like this so it's a little ring light that kind of goes again behind your recording device behind your computer it shines right on your face um and this is a nice one because it has a clamp so you can attach it to your desk um, and if you are recording from your phone or other smaller device, you can attach it to this as well. <laughs> so um, these are pretty cheap online um, if you want an external device. But um, with Zoom's new update, you know, um, it does pretty much the same thing for you. So this is just if you're kind of a, a recording sort of um, person that likes tech. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Awesome. Okay, so good luck figuring out your lighting for your remote teaching. We'll be back soon with more tutorials and how-tos.